Hi, I'm Akash Gupta. I'm co-founder and CEO at Zip Electric. Uh, I'm building this uh, very interesting green sustainable venture for the last five years. See, Zip uh, basically started with a, with two intents. One was that I always wanted to create a large venture which could touch millions of lives, right? And the major second reason why I started Zip and a green venture is because I wanted to solve the problem of sustainability. Uh, I wanted to solve the problem of pollution and climate change. And that's the reason this this electric venture uh, is, is there to basically electrify first India and then the world. Last mile delivery today is going hand in hand with the entire e-commerce penetration which is happening. Today e-commerce is a $30 billion market. It's going to be in the next four years a $150 billion market, which means the number of shipments that are happening today will grow to 5x. When there is so much you know, demand of e-commerce, it goes hand in hand with a good, robust, organized logistics solution, right? which is what Zip is here to provide. And the big problem today is that entire logistics is all running on petrol vehicles. What it needs to go is to work via fleets like ours and electrify, right? So that's where we bridge that gap. See, when we, uh, when we started Zip, we looked at two problem statements. One was the uh, last mile mobility and the other was last mile delivery. And why we looked at, at these two elements only was because we are mission zero emission. And when we need to achieve such a large vision, right, we need to see where the maximum pollution is happening. And today, 66% of the trips which happen in our country are last mile trips. Right? So last mile mobility and last mile delivery contribute to this 200 million trips happening in our country where maximum pollution is also generated. So when we looked at these two segments, we saw last mile delivery to be more attractive, more robust and readily you know, uh, available to solve right? in a hub and spoke model. And that's why last mile delivery is our focus uh, to first go green. See, we've been five year old, right? That uh, that knowledge, that experience of running vehicles at a large scale is what we've gathered over the last five years. We are running a fleet of 7,000 EVs. In a few months, it'll be 10,000. In a in a in an year, it'll be about 50,000. In a couple of years, it's about 100, 120,000 EVs that we'll be managing. So, right from going to the right OEM to getting the right product to getting the right batteries to setting up the charging infrastructure to setting up the app to track and manage all of this to making the driver happy, train him on how to ride these vehicles and then giving all of this to the customer, you know, uh, that whenever there's a vehicle uh, that we've deployed for you with our driver, then it will be 100% efficient and reliable. And if there's an issue, then we have our roadside assistance support, we have charging support, which is right there to support our driver partner, right? These are things I think that we've done at a large scale of 7,000 EVs. Uh, and we feel that we'll, we are still scratching the surface, but the good part is that the playbook is ready, which can be now replicated into multiple cities and then multiple countries, right? So that makes us the leader and, you know, a, a focused player who's solving this problem uh, with technology and with the right people. See, Zip's vision is to be the largest last mile delivery EV company. That's what, uh, you know, we have built the team for. Everyone in the team, which is the 400 member team that we have now in Delhi, Gurgaon, Bangalore, Noida, and all these places, they're all focused about this dream of switching uh, mobility to go green, especially on the last mile delivery side. And when you when we see these green scooters running on the streets of Delhi and Seattle, uh, and and soon Bangalore, that gives us a high, right? So yeah, so I think our focus is that we would want to continue to do this first city by city in our country, and then possibly country by country, right? Once we make the entire world go green, because I think that's the need of the hour, and we are solving a great problem which we are proud of solving.